hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for take it's been almost 13 days i didn't give the update video for the awaken os meanwhile we got the one minor update so i did not review that but on the 9th april 2022 we got the major awaken os 2.6 eclipse update it has some major features add on bug fixing stability and the performance improvement so it's worth to make the review of this update i didn't show the installation here you can watch the installation of cyber os from the right side card video it is the same process, no need of any finalized zip or anything. I have given the timeline to jump on the specific part of the video, but watch the full video till the end because all the important things has been discussed here. So now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. I booted to the gorgeous signature boot animation of Awaken OS after installation. If you are already on the Awaken OS, just flash the update without formatting the data. Here I done the clean flash, so after setting up the device, we will jump to the about phone section, which has lots of the new thing to discuss. ROM has the old Android 12 version number with the same material you clock Easter egg, thanks to the Vikas and their team for the giving the faster update for the Awaken OS than any other custom ROM for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Security patch is also updated to the latest 5th April 2022. So the main part is the new Primus kernel upgraded to 4.9.309 from the 231. This kernel is built using the Google latest LLVM toolchain for the better performance and the smoothness. They also added the OnePlus DC dimming mode, but it's not active for now. Evolution XROM has the special tab for the activation of DC dimming. Kernel is in forcing mode. ROM is built on 9th April 2022. The latest cap tag were added in the ROM for the better optimization and the performance. Now first we will do some stability and the performance test. First is the performance test using the Geekbench. As you already seen the major premise kernel update and the cap tags were added in the ROM which giving the supreme smoothness and stability to the ROM. So I accept same result in the Geekbench but before that I check the temperature and it's very cool 35 degrees Celsius which was not the case in the Evolution X in the last video. Their device got more warmer while using the small task. So after testing, I got the 496 for the single core and for the multi core, I got 2051. In last few videos, Awaken has broke all the records of the score, but here results are the decent but not top notch. Still, they are nice and the performance of the device is amazing. Phone remains cool most of the time and seems snappy. Asna safety net check also got passed successfully, so no issues in a security related applications. Only wide one security is still L3, but one user reported that on L3 in a cyber area, he is able to use the HD videos in Amazon Prime videos and the Disney Plus Hotstar applications. I did not use these applications, so if anyone subscribed to such streaming media, please check and let us know in the comment section. Another test is for the touch input rate or the sensitivity test. As in all the custom ROMs, we've seen that if you apply some pressure and drag the finger, we guess the continuous lines means the screen has the good input rate, but on the faster and the low pressure, we guess the dotted line so it has a low input rate. But actually, you didn't feel any low touch input rates even though we guess the low result for the test. Now we will check what new has been added in the ROM. If you access the quick setting panel, we can see the daily data users at the bottom of the quick setting panel. So you can keep the watch on our daily data uses instantly using this feature. If you go to the setting and display, we get the hidden app setting at the bottom. By using this, we can check mark any app which you want to hide. But after doing this, we need to go to the apps in the setting and search for the pixel launcher and force stop it to make the desirable changes. In the setting and under the apps, they bring back the game dashboard setting which got removed previously. We already seen this gives the overlay tab when you play any game and in that overlay button we get the screenshot, screen record, FPS overview, DND mode, game optimization and YouTube live option. This will help to improve your gaming and productivity also. Another new thing added is related to theming. If you access the styles and wallpaper, here if you enable the theme icon setting, icon gets theme but this theming is from launcher launcher. If you ever use the launcher. Their theme icon looks similar to this which looks cool. Now in the ROM we get the new volume panel which has the horizontal aligned panel for the all the notification sounds like the alarm, notification etc. Which was previously aligned to the bottom of the screen. We also get the small tab to access the switch for the media output for the Bluetooth devices and the speakers. 
so no need to access the quick setting panel to switch the media output. If you are using the gestures in the ROM, who gets the new back gesture height setting from the full to the bottom. ROM has the inbuilt OT updater in the system setting. There we can check the new updates. In the three dot menu, who gets the options like the preferences, show change log and choose update file manually. This updater will give you notification of new update instantly whenever they are available. Instead of this, as per the change log, they added the volume panel left toggle setting and the quick tap gesture setting. But both are not actually available in the ROM. I cross verified this with the some users. So let's check what bugs has been fixed. GPS was not working instantly in my review last time, but this time it worked immediately. Old bug of landscape volume panel causing the system you are start has been fixed here. I tested lots of YouTube videos with the volume check and all is okay now. So here comes the camera. So I have given the new OnePlus camera link in the video description. As you seen in the last video, portrait, slow motion videos and the 4K 60fps recording not working for the Awaken and Pixel S Friends ROM. So now we can use this new version. It has all the things working except the portrait shots. Actually camera taking the pictures in a portrait mode but they didn't have any blur effect in the background. Instead of this, they also fixed some unlock sound issue. In the previous build, it was low and has the double sound, but it's fixed now. They also fixed some start padding of the battery graph. So what are the bugs? One of the bugs is the OK Google detection. It's not working. It's the same issue in the all the ROMs. But the strange thing is that if you keep the OK Google detection tab enabled, we we'll get some lag in the YouTube videos and the music playbacks. Some users reported it's working for them. Actually, I tried to wipe the data for the Google app, also updated the app, still no luck. Only solution available is rooted magic module given in a right side card. Another bug is call recording getting failed and not able to record the calls whenever you tap on the call recording option in a dialer. Except these minor bugs, all the things are just awesome, no issues anywhere in the ROM. It is fast and fluid, has the awesome features, actually it's the clone of Pixel experience with the some major features added. Battery life is also very good, we guess the maximum 5 to 7 hour of SUT with the full day battery. So this ROM is a great competitor of all the Android 12 ROMs and that's why you can upgrade it at any time. So that's it guys for today, if you think I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.